First question is from Ander Beth. What exercises would be best in growing the glutes without building quads? Yes. Didn't I bring this up on the uh, recent episode? Glute gains. I, we just talked about something where this came up, and I think uh, this one of the single best exercises you can do uh, is a sumo deadlift for this. Mm. Uh, I it was a staple exercise for me with teaching any of my clients that wanted to grow their butt. That one and hip thrusts, I would say, are, are my one and two. Yeah, yeah. Now, so I, when I would train female clients that really want to develop their butts and their hamstrings, so traditional workout programming for lower body would look something like this. Some kind of a press, whether it's a squat or a leg press or a hack squat, and then followed by another quad dominant exercise. Traditional bodybuilding would be like a leg extension or maybe it would be like a lunge. And then the last exercises would be hamstrings and glute uh, isolation. I would flip that on its head. If I had a client that really wanted to develop their glutes and their quad dominant or they're like my quads are really big, the whole first half of the workout is all focused on the posterior chain. So we're going to start with uh, hip thrusts. Then we're going to do stiff-legged deadlift or a sumo deadlift or a good morning. Then we're going to do leg curls. Then we're going to do some tube walking. And then we move to your barbell squats, mm -hmm. your lunges, and that kind of stuff. And by doing that, and studies show this, the exercises you do in the beginning is where you tend to get yep. a greater percentage of the gains versus the ones yeah, you do more at responsive. The end. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I I fully agree with that. I mean, those are the bangers is 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 doing uh, hip thrust and you know basically just targeting the the posterior chain in general. Uh, you know, with with deadlifts, I like that too. Like addressing the glute means. I, I don't think that uh, a lot of people think about that as like you know, something to to really target to give you even more of a full uh, 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 developed glutes. And I think it's just it's it's very commonly turned down or turned off. You know, I know people freak out when you say turn off, like because you're not completely disconnected from it. Mm -hmm. But if you have if you if your feet cave in pronate, right? You are and your knees collapse in, which is really common. All right. Like I, I would say, what fifty percent of the people that the first time I ever had them squat, uh, knees cave in, knees cave yeah, in. Yeah, it's relatively it, common. Yeah, I would say it's a, a maybe fifty fifty of the mm -hmm. people. So a good portion of people have already got this, you know, pronating the feet, knees collapsing in, internal rotation of of the femur, which shuts off the glute med, which means that when they do a lot of these exercises, the quads take over it or other parts of the butt take over it and you're just not incorporated. That's why I love the sumo deadlift. Yeah, so yeah. and you and you know it's funny is that people have figured this out because what do we see now all the time? We see the the those bands, the booty bands on on knees while they're, while squatting, they're squatting, deadlifting, and what all they're really doing is they're putting emphasis on the glute med because yeah. they're having to push mm -hmm. out while they also squat. And you know, I think it's a great tool, but the the real thing is like there's you, a better way to do that. Yeah, though. yeah, you want to get to a place where you can intrinsically do that and address why you struggle with that. And you know, sure, the band may uh, be great for supplementing right now to use it, but the ultimate goal is to get to a point where you understand what your why that you're, you're you're compensating the other way. Yeah, and then there's you know there's something else you could do where, and this may sound uh, a bit crazy, but this is again borrowed from bodybuilders. You know, if a body Bodybuilder, let's say, has uh, overdeveloped triceps uh, and their biceps are underdeveloped. Bodybuilder may actually stop doing direct tricep work for a yeah. while while focusing on the biceps yeah. um, to balance the arm out. So, and this is okay sometimes. Look, if you're doing a hip thrust and you're doing a sumo deadlift, you're getting enough quad activation to where you're not like you're losing tons of strength and function. So you may just avoid quad exercises while focusing entirely on glute and hamstrings to allow them to balance out, and that's totally fine. Well, this is also too, and you see a lot of uh, you know people promoting uh, you know explosive movements like box jumps and things like that. I, I like hard style kettlebell swings for this reason too. So I work on that hip hinging pattern, but also uh, with hard style, you're really putting that emphasis on uh, driving those hips as, as hard as you can, squeezing your glutes through that uh, swing. I, I love. The, the the example you gave first. I mean, that is exactly what it would look like for me is I would do all these hamstring glute dominant exercises first. Yeah, the first like three exercises. Yeah, and then honestly, if I did anything, it would be a lunge or a squat. Mm -hmm. And there's there's a, enough quad in lunging and squatting that you're not going to not address the quads whatsoever, but all the energy and focus is on hamstring. And by the way, 
hamstring uh one of the one of the best things uh ever is to develop the hamstrings because it gives the illusion of a better butt because the way the the hamstring runs and tucks like mm -hmm. under the glute like that it gives this it gives it this shelves it a yeah bit. it does it yeah. gives it more shape so what, putting a lot of energy and it's, and that's a difficult one to do there's not a lot of exercises uh -huh. people are familiar with like for uh, uh hamstrings it's leg curls and you know like that's like or dead stiff legged deadlifts yeah, and that's kind of yeah. yeah well not a lot of people do good mornings and they yeah, should because true. it's a great exercise but putting more emphasis on hamstrings glutes that's your that's your leg workout and then occasionally throwing the squats and the lunges mm -hmm. in uh will give you enough and still a lot of glute in those both those exercises but then getting a little bit of quad, quad work